Hi students and engineers, welcome to this quantity serving community. Here in this session, we are going to learn how to do a concrete and the shuttering measurement for the staircase. This is Basit Ahmad. I'm training caustic software required for the quantity surveyor. In this session, we are going to measure the staircase concrete and the, finally the shuttering as well. Before moving on to the measurement part, we should know some technical details and we should identify the number of staircase and the levels of our building as well. To identify the number of staircase, you can refer in a plan. So this is our structural plan. Hence it is mentioned it's only two staircase in our building. To identify the levels and the staircase heights, we can refer to the overall sectional drawing so we can we came to know here is a drawing here is a staircase starting from the ground floor it's it's ending on the roof level which is the sixth floor it's ending which, which is the sixth floor generally for the concrete calculation we will use the typical structural instructions provided in our set of structural drawings for the staircase but here they have clearly mentioned a note saying refer to the architectural drawings because there is no dimensions this is given only for the reference purposes how the reinforcement arrangement for the staircase so we can't use this plan to measure the concrete but we can use the floor plan to calculate the concrete for the staircase and this is a plan where we calculated uh, concrete for slab as well so we can use the same plan to calculate concrete for the staircase so here we have the staircase before measurements there is um technical knowledge we need to know about the staircase that's the components of the staircase okay to understand the components of a staircase i opened a sample staircase image as built in the site First one is a landing. The landing is a staircase slab which connects to the roof slab. Number two is a mid landing. Mid landing is also a slab which is in between the staircase. Mid landing might be one, two, three. It depends upon the height of the roof and the height of the staircase. Next is a waist slab. Waist slab or flight. So this portion is called the waist slab and you know this is the step. In step there are two items. One is a tread, is a horizontal item and a riser is a vertical item. These are the general components or in the staircase. So let's calculating each and every items in our plan. We'll start from the landing, mid landing and steps. So these are the four major part we have to calculate in a staircase. Let's open the drawing now. So let's identify the elements as I said in the image. So we are entering the staircase in this way. So here is a door. So this is a landing. This is a mid landing. And here is a waist slab. One and two waist slab. And these are the steps for the staircase. So these are the components in our plan. First let's start measuring from the landing part. Always scale a drawing before measuring any items. I have already scaled. You can see 4.15. And I after knowing the components, we have to know the details of each and every components. To understand the detail, open a typical sections. So here we have a typical section for the landing and mid landing. The thickness is 0.22 meter, which is 220 centimeter. So the same goes for waist lab as well. It's 0.22 meter. So then we have to know the thickness of tread and risers as well. As they have said, the dimension are followed from the architectural drawing. Let's open the architectural drawing to identify the tread and riser. <coughs> Generally, from the typical section, from the typical section itself, we can identify every detail we need for the item here for the staircase. For example, the items like thickness of the slab and length and width of the tread and floor height, everything. So here I have a typical drawings, which means the floor wise drawings. So there I can see the tread is 30 centimeter, riser is 16.25 centimeter. So 0.3 meter and 0.1. 163 meter so okay now let's start measuring the items simple how to add first let me start from the i'm just mentioning landing level one and type of measurement is area i need a volume height is 0 0.22 staircase yeah that's it now if i men measure the area I will get the volume of the concrete required for the 
landing click insert go to point to point enter so the landing concrete volume is 0 0.69 meter cube and the surface area to calculate the shuttering is 3.13 meter square so same format i will use to calculate the mid landing for the staircase mid landing also i have calculated 0 0.69 meter cube and the area as well so far we have calculated landing and mid landing concrete quantity let's move on to the waste slab so this is the waste slab so now we know the volume of this component and this component so let's measure the waste slab now for the waste slab you, you, you know here in the plan it is straight but in a section if you see it is sloped right it is sloped so the plan measurements will be like that but section it will be sloped so the length of the waste slab will differ if you mark on the plan instead of the sections but here we don't have a structural sections it's not recommended to mark anything on an architectural drawing unless and until it necessarily needed so here we don't have a structural typical details for the waste slab continuation symbol yeah so which means this slab is throughout so we can't mark the length here instead we can do two things one so imagine this is our floor this is our waste slab we know this length from the plan say it is one meter and we know the height you can identify height from the architectural drawing so here we have the height High, height we have here it is 2.6 so if you divide it's 1.3 so if you apply the pythagoras theorem you can identify this otherwise mark on a plan and we will get some value like for example it's 3 meter we can multiply it with the slope factor 1.2 or 1.15 between 1.15 and 1.2 then we can get the length of the waste slab here in cost x we can use the multiplication factor so let's move on to calculating the waste slab click add waste slab need a volume so you can notice one item called default multiplier which means if you want to multiply any of the measurement with some factor or some allowance you can multiply from here so for this case the waste slab as it is sloped i am using a slope factor 1.15 and the thickness is 0 0.02 click ok mark the area yes that's it now we got concrete quantity is in the color box edit the color yes we have marked the items and you can notice the quantities here so these are the quantities for the staircase and final step is to measure a concrete item concrete for the steps and we are finishing the concrete quantity for the staircase so let's measure the steps for the steps go to dimension click add enter steps i'm going to count count but we need a volume so this is measurement type is a type of measurement we are using in the cost text and default display is the unit of item we are measuring we need for our measurement default multiplier so as we are taking a count we need three items for the steps number one is the width of the step number two the width of the thread and number three is a height of a riser so these are the three items we need before measuring the concrete for the steps so width we can measure it from here so this is the uh, this will be the width of the steps and thread and riser we know we already referred the staircase plan is 0.3 meter is a thread and the riser is 0 0.163 meter to measure the length of the waste slab so length of the waste slab is 1.2 meter so the waste slab which means the flight might be one two three depends upon the structural design the design which we are working is a dog dead dog leg staircase so we having two numbers of flight for the both the flight we got the same width so let's proceed measuring the concrete click add click steps we are going to count the step and we need a we need a length why we need a length it's because to measure a concrete quantity for the steps we need a width of the first number of steps 
we need a number of steps number two is width of the step number three is width of the tread tread portion number four is the height of the riser so these are the four mandatory details we need to calculate it so we know we need the so we know the width and now we are going to calculate the numbers okay so if we multiplied we need the tot we, we will get total length of the steps and then in the excel sheet we will multiply the thread and riser to get the concrete in the meter cube so that's the concept of measuring so i need a length so that's the steps color tan click insert just count the number of steps So here in the width, we have to provide the width of the staircase to get a total length of the steps. So after providing the width of the staircase, I got the total length of the steps here. So these are the details we required for the concrete. We already measured the concrete of the landing, mid landing and the waste lab. Only few steps are balanced to calculate the steps concrete and that if you sum all these four components you will get the concrete of the whole staircase now move on to the workbook part yes. just drag and drop the quantity let's drag and drop i don't the rounding so these are the quantity for the steps i need a quantity in meter cube to get a meter cube we know the length total length we just need to use half into thread into riser so if we use the triangular formula we will get the concrete of the steps i will show one a drawing example so imagine this is the steps okay this is the step of a concrete okay so we already know the length total length not only the one step so if we have 14 number so for the 14 steps we know the length is 17 meter so if this length is multiplied by the area of the triangle we will get the volume so that's it so half into length of the tread is 0 0.3 meter into height of the riser 0 0.163 meter that's it then we will get the concrete quantity for the staircase so let's apply the formula here yeah this is the total concrete quantity required for the staircase in level one now for the shuttering part again so we will name as concrete so shuttering part is very simple drag and drop the quantity okay now i will do one by one first first we did an area so i have to select the area click ok then i need a waste lab i need an area click yes then step drag and drop i need a length click update so this is the shutting quantity for the steps simple so this is our step this is the step case okay, slab will go like that for the farm work we will provide only at the area of the riser so we know the length of the steps so just multiplied with the height of the riser so this is meter square now so one more thing we have to add is a sides of waste slab there is a opening so for this area we have to do the shuttering so this is a way they will provide shuttering for the staircase as i said the soffit soffit is hidden here soffit we already calculated so same area of the waste slab and the landing and for the steps we know the length of the steps into the riser here you can notice so this is a side so this is side we need to provide a shuttering for that just mark these sides in the plan and multiply with the thickness of the slab so we add so sides of staircase 
we are going to measure in the length we need a meter square so before entering the second dimension so we have to know how cos x is doing the multiplication like doing the calculation whether it's area or volume to know that go to measured dimension and here you can see so if you want area the cos x is multiplying the length the length is the item which we are measuring in the cos x so we are measuring 10 running meter so that's the length cos x is going to take so then it's multiplying the width what is width width is the thickness of the slab that we are going to provide so this is how cost x is calculating automatically so according to the formula we have to provide the value so the thickness here i am going to provide in the width not in the height so that cost x will do its calculation i just select the color of a blue click insert just mark the exposed area yeah that's it cost x is automatically calculated the so area is 0 0.97 meter square so coming to the workbook now drag and drop the quantity i need an area we know length as well as area as well but we have to very careful while inserting the value into this inbuilt cost x excel sheet quantity type is very much important decimal decimal is two digit okay click ok there we go now we got the shuttering quantity for the staircase landing mid landing waist slab steps and the staircase sides of the staircase so that's the today session guys so we calculated the staircase concrete as well as the staircase shuttering for the item and you know if you are doing any type of staircase this is a base concept you can apply to every type of staircase i'm just going to give one more example you have a staircase like this so this is la engine this is a staircase steps steps okay so this is a floor and here it's a floor so this is going to be your mid landings and this is going to be your landing so these are the steps and these are the waste slab so the calculation is going to be same for each and every type of staircase whether it's a doglet or a straight staircase the calculation is going to be same so you can do it for all the staircase as well that's it guys so if you want to do it manually try it and then come to the cost x so if you are already experienced in quantity takeoff so you can follow this method so that's it from me guys for the today's session i hope you all enjoyed and learned very important topic so if the video is useful please like this video so this video will reach more learners don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and join this wonderful journey i see you in the next video guys take care until then this is basit ahmed signing off Bye.